books, and they love me. I get them free at the library. I read them once. I read them twice. Library books are oh so nice. Friends, you might remember that when we were having Read Across America, we went to France one day and we talked about the big city of Paris. And while we were there, we met a little girl named Madeline in a book that we read about her. She lived in a boarding school, which was a school where other boys and girls lived and say all the time they even spend the night there and only go home on holidays or the weekends. This boarding school that Madeline lives in is just girls, and there's 11 other little girls besides her, and the lady in charge is called Miss Clavel. Now, we heard rhyming words in that story, and we saw sights from Paris and in France also. So today, I thought we might read another book about Madeline, but this time we're going to meet a new character. So look for the new character in the story as we read Madeline's Rescue. <clears throat> Madeline's Rescue, Story and Pictures by Ludwig Bemelmans. The Viking Press, New York, is the publisher, and it was published in 1951. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines lived twelve little girls in two straight lines. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines in rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter snow and ice. To the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, Poo poo. And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel until the day she slipped and fell. Oh, no. Looks like she's fallen off of a bridge. Poor Madeline would now be dead. Look at her there. She's in the water. Maybe she's drowning. Oh, no, Madeline. But for a dog that kept its head. Look, the dog has swum out to rescue Madeline and dragged her safe from a watery grave. There they are. There they are. From now on, I hope you will listen to me and here is a cup of chamomile tea. Look where the dog is. Good night, little girls. I hope you sleep well. Good night, good night, dear Miss Clavel. Miss Clavel turned out the light. After she left, there was a fight about where the dog should sleep that night. Oh, no, they're all fighting over the dog. The new pupil was ever so helpful and clever. Look, the dog is bouncing on her hind legs and it's got the blocks and it spells... C-A-T. What's that word? Cat. The dog loved biscuits, milk, and beef, and they named it Genevieve. So our doggie's name is Genevieve. She could sing and almost talk and enjoyed the daily walk. Soon the snow began to fly. Inside it was warm and dry. And six months passed quickly by. When the first of May came near, there was a nervousness each year. Uh-oh, something's about to happen. For on that day, there arrived a collection of trustees for the annual inspection. Oh, look at them. They look really important. The inspection was most thorough, much to everybody's sorrow. Look, they're coming down through here. They're looking at each little girl in their bed. <gasps> Who is this? Who is this sticking out from under this bed? Oh, no. Tap, tap. 
Whatever can that be? Tap, tap. Come out and let me see. Dear me, it's a dog. Isn't there a rule that says dogs aren't allowed in school? Miss Clavell, get rid of it, please, said the president of the board of trustees. Yes, but the children love her so, said Miss Clavell. Please don't make her go. I dare say, said Lord Cuckoo Face. I mean, it's a perfect disgrace for young ladies to embrace this creature of uncertain race. Off with you. Go on, run, scat. Go away and don't come back. Oh, poor Genevieve. Madeline jumped on a chair. Lord Cuckoo Face, she cried. Beware, Miss Genevieve, noblest dog in France. You shall have your vengeance. It's no use crying or talking. Let's get dressed and go out walking. The sooner we're ready, the sooner we'll leave. The sooner we'll find Miss Genevieve. Look, even Miss Clavell is crying. They went looking high and low. In every place a dog might go, in every place they called her name. But no one answered to the same. Look, I see lots of dogs, just no Genevieve. The gendarme said, we don't believe we've seen a dog like Genevieve. Hours after they had started, they came back home, broken hearted. Do you think they're going to find Genevieve? Where can she be? Oh, Genevieve, where can you be? Genevieve, please come back to me. Look at Madeline looking out the window. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavell turned on the light and said, Something is not right. An old street lamp shed its light on Miss Genevieve outside. She was petted, she was fed, and everybody went to bed. Yay, Genevieve is back! Good night, little girls. I hope you sleep well. Good night, good night, dear Miss Clavell. Miss Clavell turned out the light, and again there was a fight, as each little girl cried, Genevieve is mine tonight. For a second time that night, Miss Clavell turned on her light, and afraid of a disaster, she ran faster. What do you think is going to be happening? You think they're going to be fighting again? And even faster. If there's one more fight about Genevieve, I'm sorry, but she'll have to leave. Look at them. They're all just fighting and fighting. And look at poor Genevieve's face. She looks like, oh, no, what can we do? That was the end of the riot. Suddenly, all was quiet. For the third time that night, Miss Clavell turned out, turned on the light. Now wonder what's wrong. Think it's more fighting over Genevieve? And to her surprise, she found that suddenly there was enough hound to go all around. What had happened? What did Genevieve do? She had puppies. And look, she must have had 12 puppies because there's one for each little girl. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve puppies and mother Genevieve. The end. And there's another scene from Paris, where Madeline fell off the bridge.
there are other stories about Madeline that you can read about in our library or in your local public library.